Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cooking Ain't Complicated. My name's Chef Saint, and what we're going to bring you today is something amazing. It's a chorizo and pork burger on a brioche roll with uh, Anaheim chilies, cilantro, uh, aioli, and uh, this wonderful Port Salut cheese. Now you wouldn't think a uh, French cheese would go with something chorizo. You think chorizo, you think uh, Spanish and Mexican influence. But let me tell you, when you see this melting over the top of the burger, you're going to fall in love like I did. Now of course, like everything on Cooking Ain't Complicated, the steps are mostly optional. If you want to use fresh homemade chorizo, oh my god, do it. If you want to use a different type of cheese, do it. If you think Anaheim chilies, oh, those aren't sharp at all. I want to use a Serrano chili or a jalapeno. Go for it. Everything is negotiable. The only thing is get in the kitchen and make it yourself. Learn how to do for yourself. Regardless of your skill level, anyone can cook. So, with that in mind, let's get started. All right, guys, for this chorizo pork burger, we are going to make a garlic, cilantro, and lime aioli. Now, an aioli is basically a mayonnaise. And if you want, you can pick up any of the flavored mayonnaises at your store. Like I said, make it as simple or as complicated as you like. But let me tell you, it's not hard to make from scratch. And you'll be so proud of yourself when you do it. But what we're going to do is we're going to take, you got one cup of oil, one egg, I use the brown organic kind, they're fantastic. Two tablespoons of lime juice, fresh squeezed. Roasted garlic. Minced red onion. Fresh chopped cilantro. And we got cumin and salt. I mixed them together. They're all going to the same place. So, what you want to do, you want to take half a cup of your oil. I'm just using vegetable oil. You can see a description in the link that'll show you the uh, ingredients that we use. You want to use about half a cup. There we go. Perfect. Half a cup of oil, and what you want to do is you want to mix all the other ingredients in. So we got garlic. Get all of that in there. You'll love the garlic. It's fantastic. Your cumin and your salt. minced red onion. You can use white onion, you can use yellow onion, whatever you want. I like red. A bit bitter, acidic. You got your chopped cilantro in like that. And you got one whole egg. Chunk it right in there. You want about two tablespoons of lime juice, so just give her a good these are there. It's about one tablespoon. Let's see if we can get another one out of here. Not quite. So let's go with the other guy here. Right about like that. Now keep in mind, all of this stuff is to taste. So if you want it to be a little bit more lime, throw a little bit more lime. If you want more garlic, like I always like garlic, throw more garlic in. It's your choice. It's your taste. You have to eat it. So. Make it yours. And then you just want to lightly mix that together. Whisk it together. Get it all nice and uniform. Look at that lovely color. That's going to complement this so nicely. You want to get, make sure it's all uniformly mixed. So make sure you're scraping the sides of the bowl as you go. You can use a KitchenAid mixer, you can use a handheld immersion blender, whatever you've got. I decided to do this by hand just so I could show you the process, but whatever you want to do, again, it's up to you. And then as you're mixing, you want to whisk in the last little bit of that oil, the other half cup. Keep it in motion, you want to keep it moving. And then you just want to mix the ever-loving hell out of it. Again, keep scraping the sides. You want to make sure you get all of it. Now 
And look at this here. The shade of green on that is fantastic. That is going to look spectacular on top of these burgers. Throw in the refrigerator, we'll move on to the next step. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna form our patties. Now what we got is 12 ounces of ground pork. Throw that in there, don't want that. Get it off of there. And then so this is Hampler Farms chorizo. It's so freaking good. It's made here locally in Washington State. Uh, I tend to prefer the chorizo that looks like ground sausage instead of the chub tubes, which you can find anywhere. Um, that's more pasty. You get a more pasty product. You can brown it up just fine with some eggs or whatever. Yeah, I, I love it. I've grown up on it. But for these kind of applications, I prefer the stuff that looks like actual meat. <laughs> so put that in there with our pork. Throw in two egg yolks. Again, jumbo uh, farm-raised brown egg yolks, local made. My local chickens. And we're going to throw in about two heaping tablespoons of red onion. Like that. And then we're going to do about the same amount of the, the Anaheim chilies that we uh, minced up and essentially pulverized I mean it's like a paste but since it's going into a burger it's not gonna matter so one two and a little bit extra and then the last thing I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of lime juice throw that on top just a smidge you don't need a lot and then you want to get in there roll up your sleeves folks because that's the only way to get this done get in there and just Mush it together. Wash your hands first. Typically good business. But you want to make sure that the chorizo and the pork are thoroughly mixed together. Now why I cut the chorizo with the pork, chorizo by itself is amazing, but it tends to get a bit brittle on the grill. In my case we're going to use cast iron, but it gets a bit brittle on the grill. That's why you add like egg yolk and things, but there's a binder. But uh, the pork helps keep it juicy, and it helps keep its shape, and it helps to just really firm up the burger. Like if you make burgers with pork, they'll get, you'll get less shrinkage out of the burger as it cooks, so more yield. And just what you want to do is you want to just really mush this together until it can reasonably hold its shape, like that. Now the brioche buns that we got aren't super huge, and like I said, we're not going to have as much shrinkage on the, on the patties because we're using pork instead of beef. So you want to just take, about like that, pat that out. Place it on some wax paper. And again, depending upon the size of your bun, you can make these as big or as small as you want. You don't even have to have a bun. If you're on a no carb diet, skip the bun. Do it like a Swiss steak almost. You throw it on a plate like a patty. It's just as delicious. Minus all those evil glutens. I happen to love gluten. It's delicious. But not everybody feels the same way and that's just fine. So about like that. And that's what we got. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna bring it to the cast iron and let the suckers cook. And be real careful, you don't wanna break them. We're just do one at a time here so you can see, ah, screw it, we'll do two. I'm too hungry for one at a time. We can't play that game. It already smells so good. The trick is don't eat very much in the morning when you have to cook. Get super hungry right away. Let it go for probably about two, three minutes, and then we'll flip it and we'll go from there. 
And you really want to make sure that you move them around a little bit as you cook because you don't want them to stick. That would be bad. Let's give them a flip. Let's see what we're looking at. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. And as I said, you don't really lose a whole lot of volume due to shrinkage like you do with beef because when beef cooks, the fat tends to drain out and, and dry out the meat. But with pork, your meat is naturally moist and it stays a lot firmer, a lot fuller. Cooking nice. We did about two minutes on the first side. Second side, we're going to give it about two, three minutes just to get this color on it. And then we're going to flip it again. You want to keep a constant eye on it because you don't want to overcook it. Um, you want it to be a really good chewy consistency, but you don't want it to get too dry. Now, if you don't use pork, if you choose to go strictly chorizo, you're going to have a lot more oil and grease in the pan. It's going to be a reddish colored uh, tint. It's very spicy oil. A lot of people deserve that and desire that. That's what they want. But for our purposes, we don't want to have too much drying out. All right, so now what we're going to do, now that the burgers have cooked, we're going to brush a little melted butter on our brioche rolls, like that. Put those face down inside your cast iron. And you don't want to let them go too long because if you let them go too long, they'll burn, obviously. And we're not going for burn, we're going for just a lightly toasted butter on that. So now what we're going to do, now that we have our buns toasted nicely, we are going to slice some of this port salut cheese. It's a very soft cheese, almost like you're cutting into a cream cheese. That's the consistency you're looking at. Okay, so what we're going to do now... Melty, melty action here. Double it up sideways like that. It's almost like it was born to do this. Just like that. I'm going to give it a second and let it melt. Alright, now what we're going to do... Take our nice setup aioli. Look at how nice and thick that got. Beautiful. Get a little spoon. And we're going to open up one of these here bones. Like so. Take a look at that. You're just going to take about a tablespoon. Nah, we're going to need more than that. Let's do two tablespoons. Of course, you can do it to your taste, just like that. We're going to throw a couple of slices of avocado on there, because I happen to like avocado. Like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce one of our nice, melty, lovely burgers. Take a look at that. Just about the right size for that bun. Look at the melt on that. That's delicious. A couple of slices. Tomato like that. Just like that. Alright, now as you can see, we got the finished burger here. That looks so good. A little side of our aioli to go with. A little bit of French fry love here. Just some fresh sliced. Yukon Gold. You don't even need to do anything too fancy. We could have a description in the link that'll show you just how to do that, but all we're doing is a little bit of fresh ground pepper, or fresh ground uh, sea salt on top of that. Like that. And there you have it. Not too complicated. Pork, chorizo, Anaheim chilies, a few other ingredients. And you've got this beautiful burger. It's going to be moist. It's going to be delicious. I can't wait to eat. I hope you guys are hungry too. If you want, the full recipe will be in the description below. Along with the recipe for the potatoes. But again, like I said, it's super easy. 
I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys remember that cooking doesn't have to be complicated. It's what you make it and what you make.